Welcome to another edition of... Retro Tech! Where we aim to bring you only the finest, highest quality vintage gear. Of well, maybe not the highest quality, but boy, they are interesting. Today we have a venerable, amazing multimeter um, dating back to the 90s. It's hard to get info on this one for some reason, but nonetheless, here it is, the Protec 506 digital multimeter. Wow, this thing does everything, and it comes with a kitchen sink. Just kidding about the sink. No word of a lie, I was literally gobsmacked uh, the first time I saw this meter. It's a British saying for, you know, speechless. The amount of features on this DMM are just incredible. Um, and I'll go through those, but just remember, this is not a new meter. This meter is at least 30 years old, and man, oh man, was it ahead of its time. If you actually bought a meter in the mid-90s, chances are it came with an enclosure like this, this sort of rubber looking enclave here, um, enclosure, case, whatever you want to call it. Um, this was par for the course back in the uh, mid-90s or so when they were selling multimeters. I picked up this gorgeous instrument uh, via an online e-tailer. And yeah, look at that, it comes with a floppy diskette. Now, if that doesn't give you an idea of a timeline, then nothing will, a floppy. You know what, I don't even have a computer that has a floppy in it anymore. Oh, too bad because I'd love to take a look at that software. Anyway, um, original test leads, not even opened. Yeah, this thing was new old stock. I love it when these things come up. Um, if you're into vintage meters, Keep an eye out on those e-tailers such as eBay. Wow, every now and then, it's, it takes a while, but a little bit of perseverance, you can find some real gems. And of course, back in the mid nineties, who didn't want to hook up their ProTech to your personal PC? That's right, that big beige bad boy. You know, we all wanted to do it, didn't we? Ah, yeah. Well, if you wanted to, you could with the ProTech 506. Uh, serial port RS-232C connection. Get a load of this, $1994.95. The meter sold for $299 US retail. $299 US in 95. According to the US inflation calculator, that's the equivalent to of almost $600 US. In today's dinero, 600 bucks. Whoa, this was not a cheapo. Amazing manual here. This thing is just loaded with info. Three and three quarter digit, 4,000 count auto ranging, a 10,000 count frequency with full annunciators and an analog bar graph. RS-232 interface, true RMS. Um, man, this thing was loaded. 10 memory locations, dual display, a timer function for alarm clock or stopwatch. Like, really? Oh man, this thing, just, just look at the feature set. <laughs> and figure this was 30 years ago and yeah you get what the idea you, you get my drift right gonna spend a little more time than normal on this manual because boy it is just gorgeous full-fledged schematic going through all of the configuration uh, descriptions um, everything it has logic uh, as well testing I mean uh, like 20 amps uh, high current inductance the meter does inductance as well are you serious i mean this thing is just miles ahead of most meters um even today so i gotta say protec you were definitely ahead of yourself meter itself was fairly large it's a big meter it's not a small meter by any means um, and a lot of attention went into that dual display uh, which i'll show in just a minute but uh, you get an overall look and feel this is a very very nicely made device and it is heavy it's a heavy meter so the electronics are, are adding to that weight uh, dearly if you look on the back we have our tilt stand as well um, little rubber inlays and uh, powered by one nine volt battery but man, oh man, this thing is a beauty to behold. Push button technology on off with the touch of a button. Look at that, absolutely gorgeous. Check out the backlight here. Yeah, we have 
three LEDs on each side, giving us that nice glowing green hue, a little bit of Chernobyl backlight for you. Um, wow. I'm a stickler when it comes to a good range selector switch and check it out. I mean, this thing, I have not seen a meter that can get to a range with the authority that this Protect does. Whoa, this thing is a beast, a beast. A lot of functionality as well. All soft push buttons, no cheap plastic going on here. Function switch on off, menus, ranges, hold. Um, this is for your data timers, backlight, uh, everything. This thing is just like, oh, it's beautiful, beautiful. TL-175s from Fluke here in those input jacks and just, Man, they're, and they're so solid. It is just such a nice quality fit. Oh, beautiful. Same sort of inlay with those Probe Masters, just solidly fit and just, just great, gorgeous. Okay, I'm gonna do a quick look at resistance here. Let's see if we have any resistance on those test leads. Nada, thank you, Probe Master. Let's start off with 100K. One hundred K spot on. Let's try one K. Oh, gorgeous and so fast to range as well. Finally, let's try one ohm. Oh man, I'm telling you, you know. And just so you folks know, I'm actually using this meter um, on a almost daily basis, so it is still on my bench being used. Oh, look at that. We have some beautiful shielding on the back of that Protec. Takes up the entire body um, on this side of the enclosure. Man, oh man, they knew how to do it back in the 90s. Check out those input jacks. Oh man, they are in there. Nice, big, solid pieces of metal. They are split, but uh, really not going anywhere. That current shunt as well, not so happy with the creepage distance. Pretty close to some components, I gotta say. Uh, 10 amp fuse on the left, the uh, milliamp fuse over on the right. And if we look at that uh, rotary selector switch, not a lot of gold plating going on here, um, surprisingly, but uh, very interesting. We have a mother-daughter board style um, set up here for the PCBs. Uh, the main PCB itself you see here connects to the interior one just via those pin headers uh, on either side. Kind of a neat, seamless, uh, elegant solution to a lot of components and electronics going on. And one nice thing about these older meters is the fact that you can self-calibrate them and they helped you. Uh, we have calibration pots for capacitance, for inductance, for volts, AC, volts, DC, temperature, uh, you name it. And uh, there they all are. So um, definitely a user self-calibration friendly meter. Wow. Main IC is right here. That's the Maxim, Max 134. Integrated AD uh, converter, um, three and three quarter digit. Uh, AD internal resolution up to 40,000 counts, plus or minus 0.025% accuracy. Nice, nice chip. One thing I'm not crazy about is this wonky kind of uh, fuse holder here. Now, why do they do this? You know, ah, don't like it, don't like it at all. And of course that big beefy rotary selector switch. Oh yeah, this thing is a tank. I really love the way it feels. Big brass uh, inserts again. Man, this thing was well, well made. Uh, another IC over here. And look at that, that is for the RS-232 connection. We have a couple of opto couplers here. So we do have some opto isolation, which is a good thing. Although uh, you can still have issues, um, safety issues if, uh, yeah, it's, it's better than nothing, but it's not the perfect solution. Even further, nice soft touch buttons. Remember, that's almost 30 years ago. So they were really ahead of the game. Uh, once again, nice quality ABS plastics here. Uh, look at those brass threaded inserts everywhere you look on this meter. Um, really, really nice. Also, oddly enough, they're using a slow ceramic fuse on the high current side, uh, not a fast blow. Go figure. 
Another really unique feature with the ProTech is the diode mode. Check it out. So right away in diode mode, it tells you the output voltage uh, that you are emitting as well as whether or not you have an open or a short. Obviously, we're not connected right now to anything, so it's showing as open. Well, let's just stand, try a standard diode here. And look at that. 0.558 forward voltage drop and there is a good indicator telling us that this is indeed a good diode oh my gosh i mean if only it had an audible beep to go with it that would be probably the best diode mode of any multimeter i've ever seen any has a very rare inductance mode as well not being an lcr meter that's kind of cool but unfortunately the range is extremely limited only goes up to 100 henry basically from 10 henry to 100 henry this is a, a 10 uh, sorry 100 micro henry inductor and yeah giving us no indicator just because it is well too low for this uh, meter anyway um i mean you know, if you had a finite uh, set of inductors to measure in that henry range it could definitely come in handy i also have a signal generator uh with this protec now it's limited again uh sitting here at uh two just over two kilohertz that square wave maybe not the squarest of waves but there it is uh hit that function switch and eight kilohertz is the max and as you can see we kind of lose a bit of that quality just see if we can clean that up a bit yeah so ah, there you go another unique feature to the 506 is the fact that in ac mode uh, not only is it true rms for the time but it also measured your dbm there's a lot of engineering applications that require voltage values that vary logarithmically. And that's where the relationship between volts and dBm comes in. Basically, dBm is a measure of power ratio in decibels or dBs. Right. A big multimeter, no doubt, standing right next to the Flute 27, which is a phenomenal beast. Um, the ProTech certainly does not look small. Hope you enjoyed this little expose of a multimeter almost 30 years old that I'm still using even today in 2023. Thanks for taking this trip down vintage memory lane. You, me, and the ProTech 506.